Hello, my name is Bob Schreiber. I love to fish, I love to camp, and I'm a damn good cook. Today, we're going to talk about my wife, Sharon. Sharon was the patriarch of our family, and we really didn't realize that until later on in life. But she kind of controlled everything, even though I didn't know it. We loved each other a great deal. Sharon and I were married for 37 years. Uh, we had three children, spaced two years apart. They all grew up here in this house. She called me one day and she says, I, I think I'm having a heart attack at the office in Monticello. She said, I, my arm hurts, I'm short of breath, uh, it, I have a pain in my chest, classic signs. But the firemen and, and all the people around were all EMTs, and so she was taken good care of. And then the ambulance ride up and they ran her through all kinds of tests, you know, a heart attack, you know, the EK or the all the different tests they have for heart. They came back and they said, everything is good, your blood pressure is good, your heart beats good, and there's nothing wrong with your heart. Although we found a spot on your lung. And that's where it started. And they found her to be in stage three, which was a slight chance of recovery. And then uh, she was going for radiation and chemotherapy at the same time. And I was going for radiation for my own cancer at the same time. In fact, we went up there together many occasions, which was kind of neat. And uh, then she, they found liquid on the outside liners of her lungs, and that was cancerous, so that put her in phase four. And she got better in 2013. I mean, really, we took her off the medicine for six months, and she had a bucket list of taking <clears throat> uh, the whole family to Disney for a week. That was really good for her. And then it uh, was really started to get bad and they said we can't treat you anymore because it's, we don't have, it's not working. And that's when we decided that we won't go anymore and so we, I don't know what exact day it was, but we decided that we'd stay home and I would stay home and I contacted hospice to, for direction because I didn't know how this was handled. Well, it was a relief, a great relief. Uh, they seemed to know what the hell they were doing, you know. They had the answers. Uh, they didn't get excited. They just said, "Be cool. We'll have a we'll have a meeting and we'll sit down and talk about it. And uh, don't worry, we'll handle everything." And now I tell you that was, that took a lot of load off. Well, she was glad they were there because some of the things they did I couldn't. You know, I I, I would have, but I was more comfortable if somebody was there that really knew what they were doing. I am old and I don't remember names, but I'll tell you this. My kids went to school with three nurses that came out of their classes. That took care of my wife. And another one that is a neighbor. And how lucky can you get? And, and all of them, wonderful, wonderful nurses. Top of their class. What more could you ask for? Midway through August, or early in August, said she would not see September. To give, I asked her, I said, 
where we at here? And she didn't. But it was somewhat comforting knowing that what to expect and, and kind of when, if there's any comfort at all in that. <laughs>